Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video I'm going to look at the 11 most transferred in players for game week 16 and whether or not I think it's worth buying them. Certainly whether I would do it or not and why I would or wouldn't bring them in. So the 11 most transferred in players currently are Alisson in goal and then at the back to Castagna, Gabriel, Saliba. In the middle we have Almiron, Trossard, Madison, Salah and De Bruyne. And up front, Haaland and Solanke. There are four different ways that you can do a transfer. There's where it costs you nothing, where it costs you minus four because you've already made transfers. There's the wildcard chip. And I'm aware there's a lot of managers out there that still haven't used their first wildcard chip, either because it's their first year and they're not really sure what they're doing or they've forgotten about it. So if you've not yet used your wildcard chip, you may as well use it this week because if you don't, you lose it. And there's also the free hit chip, which... I would say under no circumstances should you be using your free hit chip this week, even if your team's really, really poor. There'd be a much better time later in the season to use it. And then for each transfer, I will categorise it as either a definite yes, I'd bring it in, a tentative yes, a tentative no, or a definite no. So starting with the keeper, Alisson, Liverpool, 5.4 million. Liverpool are at home to Southampton. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't bring in a keeper, but I'm saying if he's not a hit, I'm saying yes. The reason for that is if your other 10 players, you're perfectly happy with them, you've got nothing else to do. Maybe you've got Lloris or Edison in goal and you think, oh, Alisson's got a slightly better chance. Or maybe you've just, maybe you've got two cheaper keepers and you've got some money and you can afford to get to Alisson, in which case there's a pretty good chance he's going to keep a clean sheet. There's possibly no one as likely as Alisson this week to keep a clean sheet. So if you've got nothing else to do and it costs you nothing, I think it's worth bringing him in. He may as well. It's just for one week. I would not take a hit to bring him in. If you've got a goalkeeper that's playing, the chances are he could well get within four points of Allison in any case. So absolutely not for a hit. And if I was playing my wildcard chip, I wouldn't bring him in because I would probably bring in three other Liverpool players and not Allison. Uh, so maybe Robertson or Trent and then Darwin and Seller, for example. So Alisson would use up a Liverpool spot. But a lot of our teams at the moment don't have three Liverpool players. So he's easy enough to slot in there. And a free hit, again, I wouldn't be bringing him in because there's, I'd get a cheaper keeper and different 10 outfield players, possibly three Liverpool. Because they've got such a nice fixture this week at home to Southampton. In defence, Castagna. So Leicester the last several weeks have kept a lot of clean sheets. Castagna's got a lot of clean sheet points. One of the times Leicester didn't keep a clean sheet, he came off beforehand. So he's still got the clean sheet points. I think he's got a goal or so since then. So he is definitely very, very good. Leicester are at home to West Ham this week. And although there's a reasonable chance, I think, of Leicester keeping a clean sheet... I believe there are other defenders that have got even more chance of keeping a clean sheet, even at the value of 4.7. And given that any transfers we make are just for one week, I personally wouldn't be bringing Castagna in. So I'm saying I wouldn't, if it was no hit, I wouldn't bring him in. Minus four, I wouldn't. For a wild card, I've got it as a tentative no. The reason is, it is true he's cheap. He is only 4.7 and it may be by getting in a cheap defender and mixing around lots of other players, you can get a starting 11 that you really, really want. And he may even start on your bench or he may be your third choice defender. And the same logic with the free hit chip. So possibly if you're picking a brand new team, it may make sense because it releases money elsewhere. But as just bringing him in for a no hit or minus four, I wouldn't do it. Gabriel, Arsenal, away to Wolves. Wolves have had trouble scoring goals recently. Arsenal do keep a lot of clean sheets, although they're not at their best away from home, but they do keep clean sheets. So tentatively, yes. If I put, The reason to bring in an Arsenal defender for me this week would be a lot of teams out there do have at least one Arsenal player at the back. So if they keep a clean sheet and you have no Arsenal players at the back, then you're effectively falling back, say, six points against all those teams that do have them. So for fear of missing out, yes, I could see why getting an Arsenal defender would make sense. If people generally didn't have Arsenal defenders, then I wouldn't get him in. 
There's no way I'll take a minus four to get in an Arsenal defender. Wild card chip and free hit. Again, tentatively, yes. He's moderately cheap, 5.1. Lots of people have Arsenal defenders. Might be worth getting in. Saliba, also Arsenal, of course. Exactly the same logic as Gabriel. You could take either one, uh, whichever one you fancy playing. They both have a chance of getting a return in the attack, as well as a chance of a clean sheet. I heavily favour home sides against away. So if you could find defenders playing at home, I would rather have them. I would rather have Trippier at home to Chelsea than an Arsenal defender. And I'd rather have a Liverpool defender. I'd rather have a Man City defender there at home. I'd rather have a Tottenham defender. So how would I fit him in? I'm not sure. But I could understand why you might want to bring him in. But he's only a tentative yes. He's certainly not a definite yes for me. This is to remind me to say, if you're not yet subscribed and you like this sort of content, then please do subscribe and it'd be very nice to see those numbers gradually go up. Or even suddenly go up. That'd be good as well. <laughs> Midfield, Almron, 5.8. At home to Chelsea. As you've heard me say before, probably a minute ago, I very much favour home sides. Newcastle, we have to consider being a very good side now. And they're at home. And Almron scoring for fun. I think he could score for anyone, especially at home. I would get him in. He's cheap. For a hit, I'm saying tentatively no, because now we're into the territory of is he going to get four points more in one week than the play you're getting out? So uh, you might better justify it. Maybe it's part of getting him in and then Salah for two moderately expensive midfielders. So it may be worth it. But on his own, minus four, because you already had to make a transfer somewhere else, I don't think I would do it. But in a wild card or a free hit chip, I would bring him in. I think he's got a reasonably good chance of getting five points or more this week. I think he's worth it. De Bruyne, 12.6. They're at home to Brentford. Brilliant fixture. He, Assuming he starts, he could get a massive amount of points. So if he costs you nothing to bring in, I'm saying yes. If he's a minus four, I've got it as a tentative no. And the reason is, how are you bringing him in? Because if you have to sell Kane or Haaland, and let's assume Haaland's playing... Or you have to sell Salah to get him in. I wouldn't replace one of those three to get in De Bruyne for a minus four. So it depends how you're doing it. However, if you have for some reason a lot of money left over and you're not having to get rid of one of these other very good players, then maybe it is worth it. So the minus four, no, is to do with who are you losing to get him in. But on a wild card or free hit, perfectly happy getting De Bruyne in. He has to be one of the players most likely to get a very big score this week. Trussard 7.1. Brighton are at home to Aston Villa. Aston Villa of course have just got a new manager so they played very well last week but this will be their first away game. Brighton are a very attacking side so I would get Trussard in. I know he's crazy going up in price but I still think he's a very attacking player. Villa could still have issues at the back. I've got him in my team. I think he's worth having. I wouldn't take a minus four again for the reasons of who you're taking out. Is he going to make a difference in one week of minus four? I think he'd be too dodgy. But on a wild card or a free hit chip, very happy to have Trossard. I think he's an excellent player. Madison, 8.2. Leicester are away to West Ham. I wouldn't take him for a hit personally. I think for 8.2 million, I could find other midfielders like Trossard that I'd rather have. Minus four, I definitely wouldn't take a minus four to get Madison in. Wildcard chip, free hit chip. Madison is an excellent player. Maybe West Ham will keep a clean sheet. I just think I'd rather invest the money elsewhere if I had to switch around a midfielder. Salah, 12.7. They're at home to Southampton. Brilliant fixture. Southampton have just lost their manager. If you can get him in and it's not a hit, I'd say yes. Minus four, tentative yes. But who is it you're selling to get him in? I wouldn't sell De Bruyne or Kane or Haaland, assuming he's playing, to bring in Salah and take a minus four for it. But if you've got something you can rearrange and you get in Salah for minus four, for example, Salah and Almiron, that cost you minus four, and you're taking out Foden and, I don't know, Fernandez or something, I would absolutely do that. I think that'd be worth it. So tentative, yes, but not if you're going to sell another player who's likely to get a big score. But on a wild card chip or a free hit chip, 
If I could work out how to get Salah in there, I would do it. Harland, 21.1. That's not right. <laughs> that should be 12.1. Pretend it says 12.1. All right, home to Brentford. No hit. Yeah, absolutely get him in. Minus four. Who is it you're taking out? I would possibly take a minus four if it was Kane I was losing. I think Harland's got a reasonable chance of getting four points more if we know Harland's starting. But who are you taking out? I wouldn't take out Salah or De Bruyne to bring in Harland. Uh, but if you've got lots of money for some reason, maybe you switched him out for Alvarez last week and you want to switch him back and you've already made another transfer, then yes, I think he's going to get more than four points more than Alvarez. And of course, chances are you're going to captain him. Oh, there's the magic word. So he's probably going to get the captain's hat. So if you're going to captain Harland, yeah, then maybe the minus four is worth it. Wild card or free hit chip, absolutely worth it. Solanke of Bournemouth. Home to Everton, very nice fixture. Bournemouth don't seem to struggle scoring goals, apart from when I have lots of Bournemouth players. So they're quite good at scoring goals. Yes, they leak goals, but he's a striker, so we don't really care. If he didn't cost you a hit, absolutely bring him in. If if maybe you've got, I don't know, Mitrovic and you're nervous about him scoring this week, just bring in Slanky. For a minus four, tentatively, yes. The reason I'm saying that is the chances are, if he's part of a minus four, it's because you're also bringing in a premium or very expensive player and as a package those two together have a good chance of getting four points more than the two you're taking out and that's how I would always look at transfers when you're taking hits I would look at all two three four however many players you're switching around as a package will these players score four eight points whatever it is more than the players you're taking out wild card chip yes free hit chip yes quite easy to bring him in if you've got nothing else to do you happy with your team? Why not? So that is my opinion on the 11 most transferred in players that would make a legal team. Let me know what you think. Do you think I've got any of those wrong? Now, if I was doing players I think are most interesting to bring in this week, then it would have been a different set of players probably. But that's what the community is going with. So that's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.